and Dunn beneficiaries have voted to put proposed changes to a beneficiary settlement land policy to a referendum. As part of developing a new Lands Act, Council reviewed the original 2010 policy and decided it needed to be strengthened. Under the Constitution, Council is required to bring any changes to a beneficiary policy directly to the beneficiaries. Since September, Council has been working with beneficiaries on some proposed changes. On December 10th, beneficiaries will vote whether to accept the changes to the lands policy. Nothing in our laws requires or even allows Council to provide priority to beneficiaries when it comes to obtaining interests in settlement lands. The proposed policy adds this requirement. Council wants to make sure the proposed policy works for beneficiaries. To this end, the proposed policy ensures that Council stays in touch with beneficiaries about how this policy is working. It also seeks beneficiary input before Council adopts laws and policies that affect settlement lands. If the referendum passes, then the change policy will be adopted by Council. If the referendum doesn't pass, then the 2010 policy will remain. Council won't be required to consider beneficiary interests when making decisions on how settlement land will be used and beneficiaries and citizens will be given the same opportunity to use settlement land. All Kwanlin Dunn beneficiaries over the age of 18 on December 10 can vote in the referendum and I encourage everyone to vote. If you're unsure if you're a beneficiary, please call the Kwanlin Dunn Citizenship Registrar. This policy will shape how Kwanlin Dunn First Nation preserves beneficiary and future generation interests in settlement land. Please vote and have your voices heard.